Hello, my Animal Crossing family. Welcome to another day on Arwen. So today we are actually completing our beach build. So this is the last one we have. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna decorate this area over here. Let me just put down my DIY workbench and my storage shed, get them out of the way. So we'll be decorating from, starting from this point on up to the rocks. So let's see, let's do a custom design because that glowing moss was kind of fat and that little space there. So let's start up our island designer and then we're gonna put down some blanket patterns because I want to do like a little campsite right here because it's directly below the main campsite up top. So I was like, well, let me just extend it to the beach a little bit in case people want to camp on the beach instead of in the actual campsite. Okay, so let's grab some stuff out so that we can start putting some stuff down. Okay, so I'm going to grab some futons and some tents. And let's get, that should be good for now. Okay, because my pockets are getting a little full too, so. But let's put this down and then we'll put another one on this side. And I want to put the two futons in between the tents. So I think I'm going to have to put down some more blankets over here on this side so I can pull this tent over to make enough space to put the two futons in the middle. So let's put one down and then we'll put the other one right beside it. Okay, that works good. Custom design. And then we're gonna put a street light right there. Give them some lighting. And then I'm gonna put a campfire right out front with some wood for that campfire. And then we'll just go around and fill in some places with a few things okay let's see what can I get out um, let's see okay I might already have what I'm looking for in my pocket I forgot that I picked it up already okay or got it out of storage already all right, so we just dropped a wheat field right there on that side. And then over on this side, I think I want to do like a little bonfire setup. So we'll put down a wild log bench. And let's see. I need to get some more stuff out. So we're going to get grab a few more of these wheat fields because, you know, I love to use my wheat fields. Okay, so we'll put one right there. Then we'll put some glowing moss and custom design because you can never go wrong with too many custom designs. Well, maybe you can, I don't know. But we're just going to put down, uh, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so let's see what else we can use. Okay, so let's take out some of these zen, piles of Zen cushions we can use those I'll see if I can fit in that hay bale I don't know if I've used regular hay bales on this build I know I used the ones for Halloween with the pumpkin and the hay bed next to it but we'll see if we can fit it in here somewhere maybe maybe not don't know yet okay let me get my customization kits because I need to customize this pile of zen cushions okay so we'll customize that and put a pattern on it Pretty. Okay, we're going to use that one. All right, nice. <laughs> Why did I sit down and turn around on that stoop, on that log bench? I have no idea. Okay, let's see what we got here. I just got a bunch of stuff that I want to try to incorporate in this build, but maybe I'll get it all in, maybe I won't, but it'll be all good. Okay, so I got the bonfire, so we're going to put a bonfire right here. to put like a bench or something on this other side if I have space to get through 
I have to check that out. But I kind of want to put some something above those futons. That's why I pulled those out a little bit. But I might actually have to pick those up to put the stuff down. So we'll see. So we'll grab a book and a magazine. Give them some reading materials. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to put it down that way. So I'm going to have to move this stuff and then drop it and then put it back. There we go. And then on this side, I'm going to drop a book. And we'll put another futon. I mean, put the futon back down. Okay, I'm trying to get it right. There we go. Okay. And I'm trying to see if I can put this garden lantern on top of that stool, but it didn't work, so I'll just put it on this side. And that should work. Okay. Just to give a little bit more light. Even though we have the glowing moss and the fire and the bonfire. So we'll grab some flowers to plant on the, on the beach. So we'll put some down. Oh, I don't think, oh, okay. I don't want those right there. I don't want them where you have to walk too much. So we just pick up that glowing moss so that won't be in the way. And I can't really put anything down in that little narrow spot. So it's all good though. We'll just do a custom design. And no, I don't want those flowers there either. They just won't go where I want them to go today. Okay, well, we won't worry about that. All right, so let's see. What else can we use in this little campsite area? Or am I done with this area for now? Okay, so I'm getting some wood so I can craft a log bench. Yes, that's what it is, a log bench. To put on this side of the bonfire for more seating. Of course, I have to test it out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pick up some of this stuff that's kind of in the way. And let's put some stuff back because my pockets are full and I can't pick up all that stuff. What is Maple up there doing? Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to get some flowers out of my pocket and we'll do something with those a little bit later hopefully okay so we're gonna go ahead and start picking up this stuff dropping a few things and then we're gonna start up here so I want to do like the little um, wooden planks or whatever you want to call them up here because I want to do like a little bookstore where um, I mean, it's not going to be a huge bookstore, but I wanted to do something like a bookstore slash um, open mic area, I guess you could say. I don't know what to call it, but they have a, but we'll have a bookstore where you can get books and then you'll also be able to do like your um, poetry readings or open mic night, whatever you want to call it. And then you have like, I want to put like sofas or some kind of seating. So that's what we're gonna do up here, if it works out. Okay, so let's just put this bookshelf here, push that over. Then we'll put another bookshelf on this side. And then we'll, let's put another chef, cheflera. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, cheflera. This plant thingy is what I'm trying to say. And then we'll do some plant partitions. Give it some more greener, greenery over there. So we're gonna get out some counters and see if we can work those in to this build because I do want some counters where people can sit and drink coffee or um, work on their computers or whatever. I mean, I know we live in a forest, but I mean, you can still have a computer in the forest, I would hope. Okay, so we did put down this little pool table too so you can shoot some pool while you're in here. So it's kind of like a... Um, just like a little entertainment area where you can do several things. Just come and hang out. So we're gonna put this down. It's so uneven, but hey, it's on the beach. That's how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna put down some counters and see if we can work these in. I don't know how it's gonna work out because we don't have a huge space to work with. See, and then let's put down some counter chairs. See if we can get this to look like something. Okay, and then we'll put another counter chair on this side. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way or not, 
but we're just trying a few things to see if we can get something worked out so we'll put another counter over here in this space so we'll drop the counter table down turn it around and then let's see so we're going to put a little a few more little planks down and another and another counter tape i'm sorry i cannot talk today okay so we're going to put down another counter table and push them close to each other and then um let's see i do need to put my mic stand down so this is the mic for open mic night so you stand here i did not mean to pick that up okay well actually i think i changed the mic so i wanted to change it to that one i like that one a little bit better okay let's see i feel like it's kind of naked over on this rock where the pool table is but i'll figure something out for that space in a little bit so i picked this counter up because this, this is where the open mic night is i want to put sofas down instead of that counter table you know, just to make it a little bit more comfortable and cozy when you're listening to your to the open mic night stuff or whatever. So we'll sh um, make this a little bit wider right here so I can push this sofa over and be able to put a second one. But you'll still be able to get through. So where's my other? There it is. Okay. Oh, my pockets are full. Okay, so let's see. I'm just trying to put some stuff down so we'll pull that then we'll put down one more counter okay and then no that's not gonna work right there i'm gonna put down the serving cart so i can put the espresso maker on top of it so if you want something to drink you can have an espresso or whatever then we'll just put some stuff on top of this, um, on these counters, like coffee and a book and maybe a laptop. And, um, wait, where's my laptop? There it is. And let's do a board game. So you can play games, work on your laptop. So I cleaned this little area out and I'm just gonna make this into like a, maybe another little cozy seating section with a fireplace. And, no, let me take that back. Push this back a little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna put some book stands on top of the fireplace. And, let's see. I think I wanna put a jukebox. You know, we actually have a jukebox in our house that looks like that jukebox. It's super cool. It was my husband's jukebox. But, yeah. I think it's cute so we'll put this sofa down so you can kind of chill over here but I kind of feel like it needs something else like on the floor maybe I'll do a design pattern on the floor to kind of tie it together or group it together or whatever you want to say so we'll put this menu chalkboard back here that has a coffee menu on it just trying to make sure you can still go up and down on this vine that I'm not blocking that area Put a flower down there tried to put one there did not work so let's dig that up okay now i'm going to put down this a blanket pattern i think we'll try this one first i'm not really sure how i feel about this one because it looks like it's kind of blending in or something i don't know how to explain it but this one i think is more substantial so we'll go with this pattern and let's take this flower up so I can put one more down okay and then we'll put down another pattern there we go then I'll put my sofa back and my jukebox back so there's my sofa get my hands emptied out then my jukebox can go back right here We'll push the sofa back a little bit more so you don't have to squeeze through this little section. Okay, so we're going to do custom designs. Let's see if I can do one here. Okay, it's not getting as close as I wanted it to. So let me pick this up and then I'll drop it here so I can put this um, menu board back up and push it onto there. Okay, that works. And then put down some glowing moss and maybe some flowers over here just to fill this area in 
Okay, so I need to get something else. I need something else to go up against the cliff over in that little section where the sofa and the fireplace and stuff is. So I need something that's kind of narrow. So I'm just trying to see if I can find something that's narrow to go up against that cliff. So we'll see if we can figure out something over there. Okay, so I'm just still looking through. All right, so let's try. Oh, no, that's way too big. Okay. Okay, maybe. It's not super big. Maybe it'll work. But I think I need to just, uh, I'm about to say design it. I need, <laughs> let's try this and see how we feel about this. Okay, I can't push it. Let me move that and push this over and then push it back. Okay. Hmm, maybe. And then let's see. Okay, those decorative bottles I need to cut I need to have those customized. So I'm, I ran over to um what is the place? Harv's Island to have those things customized, but then I had to bring them back so I can put like a sticker on the bottle and stuff like that. So that's what we're getting ready to do. I got my kits out, so let's customize decorative bottles okay so we're gonna put fall on this little lantern thing all right so there we go with my bottles and then I'm trying to put down some counter chairs for you to sit okay so you can still fit through there so that's perfect okay I always want to make sure that you can access stuff I would love to see my villagers in these areas utilizing these areas but they have to be able to get in there okay so it's coming together I think I think I'm liking it okay we'll get some star fragments I need to put some stuff here so I have to pick up my um, workbench and storage shed so I can put some things in that area so I can still access in front of that stuff so I can still have access to my beach which is perfect okay and then we'll do another wheat field because you know I like to make myself look a little bit overgrown okay all right so I'm just gonna drop this there because it's so narrow you can't really do anything else over there and then I just move that um, shell over to the other side so yeah, so this is the final build. I think it came out pretty good. So we're just gonna do a walk through. You have this little seating area. Then you can do open mic night and... Okay, so I'm actually gonna change this. I'm gonna put down this, I think it's a coffee plant or something. Okay, I can't push it over, but at least it's something right there so it doesn't look super naked. Okay, that works. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me as I decorated the last of my beaches. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share if you are so inclined. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!